PC Essex. Make a difference. Yep, it's the Make a Difference Awards. You know Christmas is on the way when we start talking about this. It is, in fact, this week, the Make a Difference Awards on Thursday night at the gorgeous venue Hatfield Place in Hatfield Peveril. Now, I've been um, hosting this for a couple of years now. And, of course, a huge amount of work and planning and effort goes into this, not just from people here at BBC Essex, but people up and down the county because you get involved to make it what it is. Because if you don't do such brilliant stuff to help out others, then we wouldn't have the nominees. And if people didn't go to the trouble of making those nominations, then we wouldn't have the awards that we get each and every September. They are fantastic. And this year's Make a Difference happening on Thursday and I'll be on stage to try not to cry but to bring you some more incredible stories and get to meet the winners as their names are read out and as always we have loads of celebrity judges involved in the process We've got Ollie Murs judging one of the awards this year Eddie Hearn as well It's a big event and it is a really special event and a special part of the BBC Essex calendar. So as we count down to the Make a Difference, which is happening on Thursday night, we thought we'd chat to some of the winners from the past couple of years to find out what they're up to now, what it was like at the night, uh, on the night itself at the Make a Difference Awards. And we have got a past winner on right now here on BBC Essex. This is Pesh Kapashiavala and Pesh was the winner of our Volunteer Award in 2022. He's actually been a shortlist judge for our rewards this year as well the only previous winner to do so pesh with me now on bbc essex how you doing pesh ah uh, good morning sonia what an evening that was i know <laughs> it takes me back it takes me back it's lovely to have you on the show because we've chatted a few times haven't we just tell us your memories of it well uh, even in the run-up to it and as, as you mentioned about um, by the public nominating uh, worthy causes and, and, and volunteers. Um, I was totally surprised when I got the phone call. Um, and then on the night, I was just happy to be there. I wasn't wasn't really contemplating winning at all. There were so many brilliant, brilliant people out there. Um, and it all went in a flash, really. And, and meeting all the celebrities, meeting yourself, meeting Dave Monk. Um, Barry Hearn was my judge. Um, so yeah, absolutely. And we, we've just, you know, it, it's given us a massive, massive springboard. I have to say, um, but what that's done for us over the last two years has meant that we've, we've kind of increased our funding for the charity that I founded free food for you. Um, we're now the largest emergency food bank in Essex. Um, we've got lots and lots of uh, volunteers applying uh, and, and lots of partnerships. So really, it's given us a massive springboard to, to, to really I- increase our presence. Well, that's incredible. And that's very much what we want to hear as well. So for people who who didn't hear your story and you won um, volunteer and you've just sort of touched on, on your project and it sounds like it's going great guns, which is fantastic. Just tell us a bit about what you founded and why. Well, I founded um, Free Food For You. Um, it, it's a food bank, but we, we try and deliver the service in a more dignified way. Um, so we, we, you know, we, we try, and, try and treat people with with dignity and respect. And that's at the heart of everything that we do. Um, so we're a non-referral, non-judgmental service. And we, we have a holistic approach to health and well-being. So the food is the draw, is, is what, why people come to us. But we, we, we appreciate actually they've, they've probably got other issues. And we, we've got cooking classes, mental health uh, counsellors there. We've got numeracy classes. Uh, we have education, we've got mentoring now. So the, the whole range of services means that we can provide a wraparound service to, to our community. And of course, you don't get into these sorts of things and you don't set, up, set it up and work as hard as you have done to, to get an award for it, do you? But it must be nice to have that endorsement from people who've obviously nominated you and then, as you say, Barry judging it and deciding you're the worthy winner. Yes, look, Sonia, it, it's it's brilliant, and and 
we, we never do these things for awards, um, but it's nice to get the you know to, to to get the recognition from the public, and more than anything, you know, it's a team effort. Our volunteers, and we have almost four hundred volunteers now, so it's a team effort, and and it's great recognition for the volunteers that we have. That what we're doing really is touching a a, a chord within the within the community. Well, I'm so pleased that it's been, you know, the success has continued to grow and your project has continued to build uh, since we last chatted. And of course, the slight other side of things for you this time round, because you've been helping to shortlist. How did that feel? Well, you know, Sonia, it's made me even more grateful and honoured because after seeing all the huge work, uh, the research, the due diligence that goes into preparing a shortlist, I just feel humbled that I was shortlisted in the first place. Yeah, well, you thoroughly deserve to be. And um, you, you're a busy boy still by the sounds of it. So what are you up to right now then? Yes, yeah, so Sonia, look, I'm passionate about volunteering. And, and it's, you know, I think we all need a purpose in life. And this is my purpose. And I think all our volunteers will probably replicate that as well. It's given us all something um, that we were missing previously. Um, I haven't worked as hard as I've had. Um, over the last few years, really, um, but it, it's it's passion, not not stressful, uh, and I and I enjoy every single minute of it. Well, that's great to hear. Make sure you put your feet up as well. But as you say, you're very passionate about what you do, which is brilliant because that doesn't come around very often, does it? Uh, Pesh, as always, great to chat to you and great to hear about your news as well. Pesh Kapashiavala, who won our volunteer award at the Make a Difference Awards ceremony back in 2022. BBC Essex.